I welcome you to this video. In this video, I'll be showing you how to create windows in Revit. How to add windows to your plan in Revit. And this is the project we are using as our case study. So we are going to be adding uh, windows that are similar to this in this video right away and right now i have already opened the project at the background uh, let me open it this is the project Revit tutorial and this is here this is it here in the last training we looked at how to create windows with antique feature and it is the same window we are going to be adding right now so there are two ways you can go about it either you use shortcut the shortcut is wn if i type wn on my keyboard my window will be activated or alternatively i can go to architecture tab you will see window at the top here click on it then your windows will be selected you can now select the type you want by clicking inside this space and look for the one you want to use i believe you must have known the name and if you can't remember the name the thumbnail will show here by seeing the thumbnail, I now know the kind of window I want to add. Okay, so I am going to be adding this one 1800 by 1 meter and select that particular one. And here I can determine the, the head. I want the head to be something like 2-4. 2400 mm and click apply and I will add two here I will add two here then add two here add two here and add two here add two here now this is this is room I'm going to add one here add one here this is mid room i'm going to add one here and one there and i'm coming back to this toilet later because that of the toilet will be smaller and as you can see from our project we have an angle window here so I'm going to be placing angle window there and this is where we have our staircase it is supposed to be two windows let's check our case study and know the type of window we have there this is our case study where we have the staircase okay we have only one there okay we have only one there okay and the toilets are actually small the toilets are small windows and in our living room we have single single windows but they are a little bit wider so i'm going to go back to our project we are currently working on and this is it here yeah? so i only need one wind one window here and this window i need is just slim it should be 1800 by 600 mm and click apply then i can select it create similar now I want to create toilet for the wi uh, window for the toilet. So I simply hover my cursor here 
and drop it and i cannot select it take it to the type i want i want it to be toilet window so i'm going to select the toilet window i've created some time ago ah this is not it this one does not work okay maybe i have tampered with the dimension before so let me modify it change the dimension to 600 mm by 600 mm and click apply click ok and that is that and from here you can determine the height the height should be 2400 mm and press enter all right then we can select it now and create similar so we place it everywhere we see toilet this is our this one is um is a store and this is our toilet this is our toilet so we place a smaller one there and this is the visitors wc we place it there and we are moving we are moving okay this is our veranda we need to cut it open to open this veranda the way i normally open is i select it edit profile go to the appropriate elevation in this case south will give me what i want and i'm going to pick a line and draw and i'm going to trim and use um trim to do that and delete this one let's know the height of this particular one the height from the ground floor is it should be 2700 mm and press enter okay at this point we can finish it then let's go to 3d and i select this particular one edit profile i can go to the west i go to the west elevation i can also go to east when you are in the east Let's see which one will work. I don't know which one is east for now. Let me go to my floor plan. Okay, this is my this is the wall I want to edit. And okay, I can actually edit it on this section. If I go to that section is better for me so I click on edit and I draw a line and select split and cut that particular one then trim all these trim all these and delete this particular one and use a line to make their their height equal align al okay it's not snapping to this i don't know why if it's not snapping no problem i use dimension to place it i still remember the dimension the dimension is 2700 and finish it 
and let's see it in 3d so that is that okay it's, something is not right I, I will edit it go to section one and let them blend together and finish it uh, let's look at it in 3d is better now okay at this point we need a window here we need a window there and the kind of window we need is something like this and i can create window on 3d i can create window on 3d then i select it i can set the height to be 2400 mm and press enter okay okay so um this window is not to the height i want i can highlight it then right click select all instances in the entire project and take all of them to the height of 2400 mm press apply and there you go I can also select all this type, select all instances in the entire project. Their height is all already on 2400, which is okay. Okay, now what we need now is our corner window. We need our corner window. We need a corner window somewhere here. So and I don't have a um, corner window in this project. Uh, corner window has not been loaded into this project. So what I will do is to go to an existing project that I think I have a corner window in. And let me close hidden windows. And let me select this particular project. And this is the corner window in this project i can select it edit family then no need to work on it load it into project and make sure that project is selected and click ok and go to your floor plan type wn shortcut for window and see how you can position it properly okay this is the way i want to position it i select it i'll press my space bar to toggle the position and i can move this one back then pick my align to by using shortcut al then i want to align it to wall faces so i select the face of the wall then align here to that point and select it take the height to 2400 mm and hit apply then let's see it in 3d there we have our window though the window is supposed to have uh, this uh, antique fissure i have the one that have antique antique fissure but i may have to look for it but just for the purpose of showing you how it works you have already seen it so we were able to add windows to this project in this training in the next training we will see how we can add our text our label and also create our first floor okay thank you for watching this video and see you in that particular video okay thank you for watching this video and see you in the next video if you benefited anything from this video make sure you give me feedback 
and I love it when the feedback is in video format. You can just use the phone and just talk about me. I will highly appreciate it. All right. Bye.